Got the, got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Rounds, hundred rounds, hold me down. They sent me a 26 inch frontal HD body wave wig and basically I'm gonna go through with the bleaching process you guys I'm pretty sure you guys know how to bleach really well by now so um, um, I kind of skipped that part but I wanted to show y'all this little trick that I've been using that's been helping me bleach my knots better and um, I don't know if this is only happening to me but a lot of companies not this company but a lot of companies send me wigs and their knots are so thick and super hard to bleach so this method has been helping me with that so basically I just take the wig and I place it over the aluminum foil like such and uh, it saturates through the knot so good it's just kind of like you know when you dye here you bleach your hair and you put the aluminum foil and then it comes out way better i just think this that's what's been working for me with this look so that's what i've been trying and yeah it's been working out really good so y'all should definitely try this method and let me know how it goes for you all right y'all so i finished oh this light right here i don't know what is this where i was supposed to put the lights because i put them here maybe that's supposed to be I was having a moment. So, um, before I just finished my makeup, obviously. So, before I start the plucking, I do want to do the plucking off camera. I hate plucking on camera. I have a few plucking videos, so do not try to come for me in the comments. I know y'all be wanting to see the whole process and everything. I have so many plucking videos on my channel, y'all. I'm not doing it again. I pluck the same way, maybe using a different something or whatever the case may be, but it's on my channel, so I'm gonna go ahead and pluck it just so we could get into this next process so I can show y'all how to do these curls. We're gonna try it out, we're gonna see how we like it. But before I do, I'm gonna be using a new product. Shout out to Easy Breezy. If y'all don't know who she is, she does hair and installs on YouTube. She does story times and stuff like that. I love her channel. Your girl sent me um, a hot comb. So we about to open it up right now and see what it's given. Am I the only person who likes to save like extra stuff for no reason? Like I just feel like I'm gonna have to use this one day. I just cut it in half. For some reason I wanna keep it. I don't know why, but I'm gonna set it too with it. Alright, so this is how it looks. This is the hot comb. Galaxy Girl hot comb. Ooh, this packaging is so cute. Oh my god, this is so nice. So it's a regular hot comb, but it's pink, which y'all know my favorite color is pink if you can't tell. Uh, Right, if you can't tell, and um, it goes up to how 450 degrees. It says Galaxy Girl right here, if y'all can see, with the pink comb right here. And this is so fire. I purposely did not take out my um, hot comb just so I could use this. So, mm, you girl got a new hot comb or whatever it is. And that's what I'm going to be using um, today in this video. So, um, oh, also, 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 before we get into that, because I know y'all like, girl, I want to see the curls. I'm sorry. You know, I got to tell y'all the whole little thing. She also sent me this. Let me hurry up and open this for y'all. Okay, so she also sent me a few goodies. So let's look at this real quick. She sent me an edge brush. Yes, you could never have too many of these. I swear. I got like a million of those. I swear to God. All right, so she sent me some cards. She sent me a used code to go let's get money off your glue. Yes, girl, I'm learning. Shout out for black businesses because you teach and how to do it. She sent me some candy. You know, my fat ass. I'm going to find something to do with that. A wax stick and an adhesive. And this is bomb. I got to use this one day. Shit, I might even try to use this today, to be honest. I don't see why not. So, 
I'm gonna be using this adhesive. I'm like, I'm gonna just use all her stuff in the video. This ain't promo or nothing like that, but support your girls, support black, black businesses. I hate using that saying because it sounds so cliche nowadays, but I'm a supporter of her channel. You are doing your thing, girl. I'm so proud of you, and we is gonna use your products in this video. So, now that I got that out the way, let's get started because I know y'all fiending to see some curl. All right, so I know I said I wasn't gonna do a plucking segment for this video, but look how good this plucking came out, y'all. This this came out, it came out really, really good. So I was like, you know what? Let me just throw it in there. I really don't like to do plucking segments and videos anymore because it just takes so long. A lot of companies send me wigs and they're just so hard to pluck and it takes like an hour and some change to pluck. It's mad annoying. So um, with this wig, it didn't take me long to pluck. So I'm like, let me just add that in the video for y'all, you know, real quick. So my method really is just a part and clean up. Part, clean up, part, clean up. That's my main thing with um how i get my wigs nice and neat and plucking period most of my techniques is just to clean up afterwards anyways you always want to go over your work and see how good you're um doing and how the progress is going so basically y'all already know how to pluck i'm just going in and i'm just gonna pluck this away i was plucking this wig for probably like 20 20 to 30 minutes i believe it's really sped up so i know it looks like i'm going that fast do not ever pluck this fast unless you're a super pro but i still wouldn't even suggest that because lace the lace materials are so fragile it's so easy to put a hole in it so just take your time especially with these diane tweezers they are hefty so take your time take your time and yeah so that's basically what I'm doing here. I know I had to just come on and say something real quick because I know some of y'all going to be like, girl, you just said that you wasn't going to put no plucking segment and now you're putting pluck. I know, y'all. I just had to show y'all because this way was super easy to pluck. That's good, though. some voluminous popping okay curls is the first thing you want to do is make sure the hair is bone straight you don't have to fly on you can but if you don't want to you can always blow dry sometimes I feel like when you use the blow dryer it just gives it a little bit more of a voluminous kind of look instead of a drop sleek kind of look depending either way it's gonna come out sleek or whatever the case may be but still I just kind of like the um, blow dry a little bit better so I'm taking my beyond the zone turn up the heat mist and I'm gonna spray that all over it's a great substitute for any type of hair sheen this spray is so lightweight and it does not keep your hair oily and y'all know I swear by it so I'm gonna link that down below I'm gonna start linking products down below because I know I don't usually do but I know a lot of y'all are interested in some of the things I use, so I'm going to inquire that for y'all. So um, I also would suggest you put the spray on before you blow dry, just so you can really saturate that sheen in it and turn that luster up. So yeah, I will always swear about this product. Alright, so y'all know I'm not a pro or professional with layering, but I'm getting better about a video, so let's talk about it, okay? I'm just taking vertical sections and I'm going to lift it into a 90 degree angle and I'm going to cut straight across. Now, when you lift it up all the way, I couldn't really show the angle because it was just like a lot going on. But um, when you lift it all the way up, it's okay if some hair falls down due to the fact that it's not going all the way in a 90, um, 90 degrees angle. Uh, but as long as you get that straight cut, you're perfectly fine. So I'm just going to repeat this throughout the whole head and then we're going to come back for some more layering.
So for the second part of the layering, I wanted to separate my hand to a few sections just so I can pay attention to what exactly I wanted to be specifically layered. So I'm doing the same thing, but just with half of the hair because I want the hair to be really bouncy in that section. So I'm going to take my razor comb and I'm just going to cut just a little bit. Like y'all see how I didn't drag it? I didn't want too much of a choppy look, so I actually dragged the... Um, razor comb all the way down instead of just chopping it like do a quick chop or quick three chops and like really making it choppy especially because i actually i parted the hair so i didn't want you to be able to see the length difference between the hair that i laid on top and the hair that's not really laid on the bottom so um i'm not really good with explaining this if y'all don't know this already but i'm trying to help y'all understand if you don't understand just watch and you'll probably get a better understanding of what i'm trying to say I guess back to differ when it comes to me explaining which direction I curl in but put it like this on my left side I curl towards the front on my right side I curl my hair towards the front so I don't I'm trying to make it sound a very much like I'm just trying to make it sound a bit easier for you to understand some people were like no you're curling towards the back and I'm like girl I'm literally look at look at the screen I'm literally curling towards the front like I don't understand how people can misconstrue that, but you know, whatever. So um, I took my Sebastian mesh and I just put just a little bit of sheen and a little bit of hold on the curl. It's not a heavy um, spray, a holding spray at all. It literally gives you like a, just a soft hold, not nothing too much. It's not a got to be, but they do have a Sebastian shape of plus, which kind of gives a Sebastian uh, got to be type of hold, but who wants all that on their hair? Like nobody likes that. But yeah i will also suggest if you're doing your own hair i would suggest you pin those curls so by the time you put it on your hair your curls don't drop too much um i didn't pin the bottom of these but well i did at the end but i would suggest you do it immediately so when it cools it can cool in its form um yeah that's pretty much it oh and also about this curling iron this is the baby list curling iron and i believe this is one and three quarters if i don't use this and you see me using a white curling iron it's gonna be my t3 curling iron so i'm gonna link those down below too if y'all want to check those out and buy them um i believe the baby list is better for more coarse hair and the t3 is better for more silkier hair um i've got that information from a few other hairstylists as well so i'm just you know Letting y'all know what I know. Just trying to put y'all on or whatever.
All right. So now that everything is said and done, I hope I'm not too like light and washed out in the camera. Yeah, I already pretty much know the routine. I'm just trying to use my RK by Kiss concealer in the shade 10 to um, tint my lace a little bit. I believe this is HD lace, so you don't really have to tint it, but it's giving me the vibes like it's HD lace, but it still has that transparent white look to it. I don't like that. Yo, my bonnet is just so fire. I gotta get my mother one of these. She was quick fiending for a little bonnet like this. If y'all are interested in where my bonnet is from, I'm gonna link her page, like probably over here, over here, one of these, just so y'all can see. She got a wide selection. You know how, um, what you call it? You know how a lot of these places be having like um designer headbands, designer um not headbands, designer bonnets, designer do rags and stuff like that. She do those kind of things, and she also do like interior decorating and stuff like that. So. Y'all gotta check my girl out. I'm gonna link her down below. I'm praying that these curls don't drop. I mean, if they drop by the time I finish installing it, then I'm gonna just recurl it. But as y'all know, I'm always, I'm not late, but I always leave when the sun is out. Like, I literally have to get ready at like 10 in the morning. Well, actually, you know what? Let me not drag it. I had to do my makeup. I had to bleach pluck, bleach tone pluck, and cut oh wait hold on stop. Stop, stop, stop i can't even think about it okay wait i had to bleach tone dry dry again layer and curl and get in the shower that takes a little second so that's my fault for not doing that the day before but they waiting on me so the part don't start till i get there whatever anyways i'm gonna put my wig on like this excuse the underarms because I don't want to lose these curls, honey. I'm really, I'm so, so, so happy and pleased with how these curls came out. I'm really, really trying to perfect my curling skills. And a lot of people might find it like, girl, what you mean? Like, I mean, no, then again, it's not a lot of people who do that. Because a lot of people don't know how to curl. And a lot of people think they know how to curl, but still don't know how to curl. So y'all already know. That's just how it kind of goes nowadays all right let me make sure these flyways stay away i'm not really worried about the facial framing section because i'm not gonna go back in and take care of that i just don't like when the lace is so tight because i just made it tight i adjusted it i don't like when it's so tight that it like hovers onto my eyebrows but so far so good if this other side goes with any oh boom we good we good never mind y'all also i mean it's a little tight right here but I could take the pencil and do a little one too. Yes, this is perfect. And then I tied it. It's so secure in the back. Because I left the back comb on, but I didn't need the other combs on. So, you know how that go. Um, What else do I have to do? I kind of, as y'all can see, it's getting a little bumpy up here. Because I got to get my braids done. And I got to pull this up a little bit. Oh, and for those who be wondering sometimes why my wigs are so low, that's because my hairline, I wouldn't say my hairline is low, but at the end of the day, I don't want my cap to show either. So it's just like one or the other. It don't be on the brow. It don't give brow, but it's not giving mad forehead. It's not supposed to be like, everybody got different hairlines. Everybody has a different forehead size, everything. You should know that. Cause somebody tried to come for me um, where should I start? I'm just start right here. Somebody tried to come for me and say, oh, I need to pull my wig down. Girl, I need my edges. So, if you got mad forehead or you just, you know, don't install your wigs right or you got your cap showing or you're giving forehead, take that up with yourself, boo. That got nothing to do with me. Period. So, that's that on that. Anyways, today I'm going to be using a new adhesive by um, Easy Breezy. She sent this to me in a package that I showed y'all earlier, of course. So we about to test that out today. Once again, let me make sure it's not giving too much forehead. I think it looks pretty good, but I don't want to give. It's like, that's another thing. And that's, sometimes I do actually, it don't give, it still don't give forehead, I don't care. But sometimes I do have to pull the wigs a little bit more to the front, cause if I pull this back, then these will start to show. So I have to move this down, cut it a little bit. It's a lot. So either way, it'd be slate though. Because a lot of the people, not a lot of people, the people, the person, the girl, the boy who decided to say something about it. Y'all could do hair better than me? 
Okay. Just saying. Not trying to toot the horn or nothing, but it always be the people who don't do better than you, not doing better than you, can't even do half the things you can do and have so much to say. Like, ooh, pack it up, Miss Mamas, pack it up. Ooh, F. That's what I get for being grown. I don't even have my, yes, I do. Hold on, y'all. That's what I get for being grown. I done pulled out too much. But it's still matched though. Good, good, good. I'm gonna use that to do this whole side of the hairline. So it's kind of like a deep, a V kind of thing. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit.
y'all so i'm about to take this elastic band off so far so good this is looking so oh uh, this is the best i feel like i've curled my hair and i wish it would have looked like how it looked on the mannequin head but i already know how hard that is so whatever but um yeah let me it's just like minor things i've been needing to fix i don't like the flyways in my face because i be having to drive and men are like Alright, and I didn't tie it too tight, so if I have a line on my forehead. Oh, I, the line is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's good. So, this is how it's looking. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back into um, my hair and recurl this part. I'm only thinking about recurling it because I don't want it to drop. That's so I'm like trying to carve it as much as I can so I could hold it but this is probably the best I could do for right now so if that's the case then we are done here let me make sure I make it look puffy because you really gotta just like play with it and just you see how just doing that just gives it such a big difference you want to make sure it's big in the back not big in the front not big at the top you don't want to help me girl I bought why y'all talking to me right now? Oh, stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Everybody stop talking to me. Body. What happened? Okay, yeah, because, all right. Because <laughs> I feel like I don't body my hair as good as when I do somebody else's hair. And I feel like it's kind of looking like how I would do it on somebody else. Maybe minor things that might be a little bit different or, you know, whatever the case may be. What I am going to do is keep the body... Oh, and these layers. I think that's what it really is for me. I think it's the layers. It's really the layers. All right, so let me know down below in the comments what y'all thinking about this look. What are y'all thinking about the technique that I use? I'm actually happy that I recorded this so y'all could just see. I use this technique all the time, but I really wanted to be super heavy on it, and I'm still learning how to layer and stuff like that. I kind of just eyeball it. Now that I think about it, everybody has their own technique, their own little thing. So I guess I was kind of fixed on doing it a certain way, but sometimes you got to go with the flow, go with your hand once. But if you want a facial framing, like facial framing curls and not just, oh, I want to just curl and go then definitely you have to have a technique and this is my technique so let me know what y'all think down below whatever i'm trying to get better with the video editing y'all people all right whatever mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this curls is popping i don't want to move too much because they might mess up and i'm gonna get mad at y'all i don't want to do that too but yeah y'all um i'm gonna see y'all in my next video let me do a night i'm thinking should i get dressed and then do an outro or should i just do I think I'm gonna get dressed, then do an outro, then get out of here because I'm always late for something. Y'all already know how that goes. Anyways, bye y'all. I love y'all so much, and I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Wait, don't leave yet though. Stick to, y'all gotta stick around for this little cute outro. Let's do. Hold on.